what's up thank you so much for clicking on this video and as you can tell this is going to be my acne journey video <laughs> button and notifications bell like comment and share and let's get into the video now there's not just gonna be one video because as you can tell like my acne is not better so there's gonna be like different parts I don't know how many parts there is it kind of depends how long the journey is but this is part one um, I'm gonna be talking about like how my acne progressed and how it got worse and how it's changing in this video and I'm actually also gonna be going to the dermatologist today my very first time um, to see what he says and like what he's gonna put me on and just take you to the journey with that okay so my acne started about i would say two three four years ago i don't really know exactly um but i never used to have acne and then all of a sudden one summer right before school started i think it was in grade six years now i am in grade nine right now it has gotten bad i'm starting to take pictures of it because i want to see how it would change so my very first photo of it that i took was july 11th 2020 i'm sorry if i keep on looking down i have like my little notepad of like the exact dates um but july 11th 2020 um i started to get these bumps all over my head and as you can see i'll put it somewhere like up on the screen but as you can see it looked like an allergic reaction, but it never went away. I still have them. I don't know if like you can see, but I still have them. It really makes me self-conscious. And the next um, kind of like video that I took, I 26th, 2020. So it's just like a bit after the first one. And I started to notice that I started to get like big pimples like around here or my contour line. Like as you can see, see I like have some here and like scarring just added on to the bumps so i would have big pimples like every morning when i woke up even though i washed my face and did everything correct and on top of that i still had the tiny bumps all over my face next one was in august 24th 2020 um and i think in this photo i just or it might be a video but i just woke up and see you can see that i do have little bumps but you can see the big white head, like pimples on my forehead. Every morning, I get at least two or more of them on my face, and I have to pop them. And I and I have no clue why I get those because it can't be that it's, there's like dirt in my face because I wash it. Like unless I'm not washing it properly, but that's exactly why I'm going to the dermatologist so they can tell me what's wrong. Okay, so the next one was January 23rd, 2021. So this was like pretty recently. Um, and this is where I just woke up. So I'm kind of exposing myself here, but it's okay. Um, and as you can see, again, uh, you can see the bumps all over my face and big pimples. I have tried so many products, so many creams, um, and dermatologist ones that have been like approved these products. I've tried them and literally nothing has worked. So I'm really curious of what the dermatologist has to say. It was getting so bad and my like my confidence was just decreasing because I was started to going back into school, grade nine, it was a new year, and I just didn't want people looking at me because how bad my face was. So I made an appointment with the doctor, my doctor, and then he referred me to a dermatologist. But in the meanwhile, since I was supposed to go to the dermatologist, I got prescribed this cream. I don't know what it's called. Uh, he didn't tell me what it was called, but I put it on every second day at night. It's kind of like a moisturizer. I'll insert like a picture of it like right here. Um, but on January 30th, 2021, um, a lot of dryness started happening around my nose and my face and it started burning. I literally had to slather uh, olive oil on like because it just hurt so much. I literally couldn't even talk and like as you just saw in that video, it was really bad. I'm peeling around my nose but it was everywhere. So then I took a break from it and then I recently resumed back on it and it kind of 
I would say worked, but I do notice that it's bringing everything up to the surface, like all the bumps underneath, it's starting to come up and you can see like, like you can see all the whiteheads and everything starting to come up so they're easier to pop. But the problem is like, I don't have time to sit in a mirror all day and like pop my skin and all that. And also it's not good for you because you're putting all these holes in your skin. So I just, I didn't do anything. I just kept on doing it, kept on doing it. And I kind of do see a difference, but to be honest, I don't. Now we here are today. This is what my face is looking on. I have no makeup on except I put mascara on. Nothing, I have no makeup on. And that's because I'm going to the dermatologist today. So this is a better close-up of my face and what it looks like because you couldn't really see it before. And as you can see, there are a lot of tiny bumps and big pimples. So that's what I want to get rid of. So hopefully you can see it better. I have looked at many videos um, of going to the dermatologist and like what to expect. Because right now it isn't that bad, but it's still pretty bad it gets worse i was supposed to have it on april 1st my dermatologist meeting but it did get moved up so i have it today um my mom is taking me it's at 3 30 so i think we're leaving around three um so yeah i just wanted to give you like an like an update and like a backstory of how long i've been dealing with acne and it's been a while like i it, i feel like it hasn't been a while but like at the same time it has been a while Just arrived um at the place. So I'm going here. So um he gave me like two papers. I don't want to show them because it has like a lot of my personal information on it. But one of them, um, here I'll show the, show the top. This is the stuff that he gave me. It's E E Puris, and there's a whole bunch of side effects. Um, I got really scared because a lot of pe like on here it says that depression, suicide, and all this stuff, and and I was just like, oh my god. But then he said that it's actually been proven wrong that this stuff doesn't cause depression and it like it hasn't been linked to that so i did some research when i like came home and i found that it's only one percent has been linked to that so i could be one percent or it could not be like one like one percent like i could just be normal what's gonna happen is basically i need to get so this is gonna be a six month period like process thing and after that he thinks that he can cure my acne like for life like i don't have to do anything all i do is wash it um he said that the face wash that i was using is good i used the cerave like foaming whatever i'll insert a picture and then i was using the cerave like moisturizer then he said my acne has nothing to do with um like dirtiness or anything like that because i wash my face so much and he said it has nothing to do with that um he said it's just genetics so basically over the six month period um i need to get um my blood taken every month because he just wants to make sure that i'm like staying healthy in two weeks i'm supposed to go back to the dermatologist um we have to just sign this like uh consent form and then i can start taking the medication it's like a pill so i can start taking that and i continue washing my face um but the problem is i don't know how comfortable i feel with taking this because risks i i so what i did is i contacted my family doctor and we have a meeting next thursday and i'm just gonna like ask him like if he thinks if this is a good idea and if 
it's okay like I'm not too scared because I read articles and it said like only one percent um and this paper that they gave me with all the side effects is old it's from 2017 I guess they just keep it on file and just keep on giving it to them and also my dermatologist did say that 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 has nothing to do with it anymore that they proved it wrong but again I still am worried because I obviously don't want to get depressed the important thing is that after this after the six month thing is is that it will still be in my like body kind of so i will still need to get blood taken two months after so it's a six month period but i need to take it eight times so i'll take it the six times so every month in the six time period and then two months update you guys um in the next part so this is the end of the video but i'll update you guys in the next part about what my doctor says and all of that um i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and hopefully you guys um follow along with my journey um with my acne and i feel like i couldn't find anyone on youtube or social media that had the same acne as me so i feel like me making this video could help some of you guys and maybe you're on this um medication too um or anything like this is like Accutane, but it's different for a different acne notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos and when I upload my acne journey videos so you guys can stay tuned with that.